Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the compositing feature within Final Cut. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro and uh, we're going to jump right into our event here, our tutorial event and into our project. Now we have a clip here, we're going to go ahead and you can either do this on compositing, you can either use on a, on a clip, video, or a a photo with a video or a video video or a photo photo now this is it's when using compositing it's really gonna basically the best way to explain it is it's almost like an effect but it's used with um, basically doing a picture in picture for example let me move my play ahead and put this image right on top of my video here now you'll notice that uh, I have a video and I have an image here on top of the video I'm gonna go ahead and select the image because what we want we want to apply the compositing effect to the image. Now it could be done either way. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the inspector pane to the right hand side here. Go to the video tab, and while the image is selected, and if we scroll all the way down to compositing, we will notice that it's on set to normal. And then from here also we have the opacity here, which we can change, and that's just basically adding a little blend as you can see already with the image in the background now and basically going to zero it's going to disappear 100% you'll be able to see the image. Now this is the blend mode here compositing again this is this comes in handy when you're trying to really like um, just as it says it here blend uh, an image with the video or an image with the image video with the video and vice versa so you can go ahead and uh, simply most commonly one used here at I or uh, I often use is multiply and you'll be able to notice as you can tell now it does its best basically to uh, blend the images and it multiply as you can see it, it, it you'll have to like play around with these if you're looking for a particular one there's several here and then you can also do color burn subtract darken and a normal is just uh, just a simple picture and picture now another one interesting to look at is the vivid light as you can see these colors the ch colors actually change on when you put on top so it comes in handy especially when you're trying to uh, just make a cool effect on an image that's on, on top of a video for example and it, you want it to just to look more like as if it's part of that video or it's part of that other image so this is where you want to adjust the blend mode here in order to do that now I'm gonna go switch it back to normal that's basically it of compositing uh, wait let me see yeah compositing <laughs> and uh, that's basically it be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and later so let my life be the